Hello and a very wonderful day to you. So as you can see, this is our atomic pulse microscopy. So the atomic pulse microscopy works in a way that it actually detects the surface morphological of a sample. So if you have any samples that you're interested in testing, then we use the atomic pulse microscopy that can go all the way up to nanometers. And of course, fabrication also proceeds with a sputtering machine that you can see from this side. So for fabrication technique, we have the radio frequency magnetron sputtering, which consists of two guns, the RF gun, which is known as the radio frequency gun, and of course we also have the direct current gun. And inside here we have the chamber vacuum, where before the sputtering process is proceeded, um, all of the air will be sucked up and at the same time release the surrounding and make sure that it's all vacuumed internally for it um, to be actually fabricated. And at the same time, we have both our nitrogen gas and argon gas to actually um, operate the machine and to actually bend it during our process of taking out the fabrication. And of course, we, all, we are also um, operating it with a CPU that actually connects to the sputtering machine. So in a way, it, both, it works both ways that when we have an atomic force microscopy, we can actually see what is the structural morphological properties of that of the semiconductor devices. So thank you for your attention. Bye. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and greetings. My name is Mohamed Izzuddin and I'm a postgraduate student in, uh, for physics and electronics. Okay. So what I'm going to show here is a 3D printer and two sets of CNC machine. Okay. So let's look at the 3D printer first. So what we do with 3D printer here first is that we, we create a model and we place it into an SD card. Okay. And then after after that, we print the desired model, and then and then uh, the desired model will be printed, and it will finish depending on how large the model is. Okay. So the the model is printed using what we call as uh, this is what we call PLA, uh, a kind of a kind of uh, plastic for for. Um, for printing the 3D model. Okay. This one here is what we call as CNC. So what CNC does is that it carves, it carves the board so that it will give some desired design. So it is usually used for carving designs, but it can also be used to carve a, a PCB circuit like this. Okay. So this one is just a prototype, but uh, they are but uh, it has done a lot of work okay so this one uh, uses mechanical power okay. while this one uh, is more accurate because it uses laser okay so what we see here is a cnc machine that utilizes laser okay so so for this one we fasten a bot that we want to carve into into this machine okay and then once we cuff, eh, once we fasten the board, okay, we do some calibration, and then we eh, we connect uh, this CNC machine to our computer so that it will control the CNC machine and it will cuff the uh, the desired design in this board. Okay. everyone, my name is Farsi Juhim and now I'm going to be presenting one of the machines that we have in our lab which is furnace. So basically, beside the furnace is all the method before and also the furnace control. And the main controller here, as you can see, is the timer, decreasing the temperature, increasing the temperature, and the button to on and off the furnace. 
So to open the furnace, please, you just lift up this plate side. Okay, and then you can put your simple inside, which is mainly focusing on annealing, melt, and also quenching for fabrication of the glass.